Today, um, I'm going to explain why I'm wearing such a ridiculous, ridiculous outfit. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shane's Craft Beer Review. Um, yeah, okay, so let's, uh, before we get into the beer today, let's get into today's costume. Uh, the reason I'm out here by this beautiful lake at Mill Swart Park, not very far from my house, it's like a 10 minute walk. Uh, so I'm actually pretty privileged to have this right in my backyard, basically. Um, the reason for the outfit is I was shooting a video for my buddy Nutmeg Two Palmetto and uh, <laughs> had to get this crazy costume together to make it make sense. Um, don't forget to check him out, Nutmeg Two Palmetto. I'll leave his link down in the description. And I think that video that we're talking about that I needed to wear this for uh, comes out October 20th or somewhere around there, I believe. Um, I, it's whenever I get it edited because I'm actually editing the intro for him. Um, so anyway, uh, and also it, this kind of has a theme to today's beer. So also from my buddy Nutmeg Two Palmetto, um, I got this beer from him when I was down in Chicago just a little while ago. Uh, this is from the Plank Owner Brewing Company. And this one's called Not a Pirate Ship IPA. Well, if I was on a pirate ship, I definitely wouldn't be uh, wearing such a ridiculous looking costume. But uh, hey, it is what it is, and here we are. So uh, let's get this. Like I said, 7% alcohol by volume. Um, not a whole lot else. Uh, brewed in Boiling Springs, South Carolina. So let's crack this open. And of course, like a good boy, because I am near the water, uh, Plastic Spigaloo glass, that's right. Courtesy of Drew at Beer for Breakfast. Facts for snacks, and holy crap, is that ever dark. Maybe it's not an IPA. <laughs> Maybe I just assumed it was an IPA. This is definitely not an IPA with that color. Holy crap. You guys see that? Yeah, that's very, very caramelly. Very uh, kind of dark looking. I. I I thought, for some reason, I thought this was an IPA. It does not say IPA anywhere on the can. So where I got that from, I have no idea. All right, let's give this a little smell here, guys. Oh, very kind of sweet, caramelly, toffee, that kind of vibe. Actually, this smells really damn good, even though this, I think it's going to be a little bit too sweet for me, but I think it's going to be good. Cheers, guys, and hey, Chase, thanks for the beer once again, my friend. Okay, Again, it's pretty smooth. Uh, you're getting that little bit of like that coffee or uh, caramelly toffee sweetness. Is it caramel, caramel? I, I say caramel. I know a lot of you guys say caramel, but that's okay. Yeah, it's not so bad, not so bad at all. It does almost have um, Almost kind of like a weird little funk to it. Almost like a, almost like kind of like a tartness. Almost, but not really. If it's a tartness, it's very, it's very mellow. But it's a little, almost kind of like that that after kind of taste you get from like if you have like a tart beer, not a sour beer, but like a tart beer. I'm almost getting that kind of aftertaste to it. Yeah, and it's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit weird. Um. I was actually hoping, expecting a little bit more from this. Um, that, that that little funkiness in the background uh, really isn't helping too much. Uh, so on a scale of one to five, this is just going to get uh, three and a quarter. Um, it, it's not a bad beer. It's just not not my kind of thing. Um, but that sounds like the kind of thing you guys are interested in. Check out uh, the not a pirate ship from the Plank Owner Brewing Company. Uh, once again, Chase, thank you so much for uh, supplying today's beer, and uh, we will see all you guys next time. Cheers.